All right, and I'm gonna try this again. So today I'm trying to show you guys how to um, access your access at Google Sheet using Python, and then uh, get that data uh, from the Google Sheet, manipulate it, whatever. Um, but basically, just you know, integrating Python and Google Sheets. So there's a variety of reasons why you want to do that. Um, their finance data is pretty hard to beat. Um, the fact that it's all live, um, that's the main reason I use it for. But uh, first, we're going to set up your Google account so that you can interface with your drive from Python. And then we're going to set up a Google Sheet, including the share options. And then we're going to write out the Python script, including getting the gspread Python package. Uh, we just use pip. That's pretty easy. But anyway, so first thing, you got to log into Google, um, which I probably haven't done yet. Nope. All right, so let me get on my burner. And, but it boop. All right, now we're gonna go to drive. I should hide those, I'm not really sure. All right, and, oh, okay. I actually skipped, skipped what I actually wanted to do. I'm jumping to step two. All right, so if you just Google G spread, that's the package we're gonna be using, G spread like Google Spreadsheet, and just click on the first link. Um, they kind of walk you through the steps. Um, so um, the first thing you need to do is obtain OAuth2 credentials from the Google Developers Console. So we're gonna open that in a new tab, and then it's gonna send you down the rabbit hole even further. And I probably have already, yeah, I've already done this stuff, so you gotta create a project. Um, let me just try to show you. I'm gonna name it something. Um, what the? Please select at least one resource. Okay, I don't really know what any of that is. But um, basically, you just have to follow these instructions and you gotta get your credentials. And your credentials will be in a dot json file um, then you need to go get the oauth2 client um, yeah so we can do that later but if, you, if you're having trouble doing this if you're having trouble following these instructions I think they're pretty clear on what you need to get but you can just leave me a comment so I've already done all this and I've got my nice um, credentials they're actually in this one, but I created this one just to show you. Um, I messed with all these numbers, so all you crazy hackers can't ruin my entire life. But this is what we're going to need, the client email. So if you copy that, I'm going to go to Google Drive and create a new sheet. If you haven't done that, just new Google Sheets. And then... We're gonna open it up. And from there, so I just, um, I got two columns, four rows of data, four rows of data, one, one row header, so really three, anyway. So I'm gonna go to share, and I'm gonna paste that in there, and I'm gonna hit enter, but I'm not actually going to, because um, I've already done this. Um, but you just hit enter and you're probably gonna get an email saying that that emails that 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 email that you just put in there is rejected uh, which is completely normal it's kind of um, so you can just delete that you don't have to do anything with it all right so now let's see let's check our steps we set up our Google account so that you can interface with your drive from Python and that's using these links from uh, the git github and then this one we set up our Google Sheet, including the share options. So once you get your um, authentic authentication file, you're going to copy that client email, and you're going to open up. You're going to hit share. You're going to paste that in there. You're going to hit done. All right. So now we're actually already ready to write our Python script. So if you don't have, let me open up a new PowerShell. Alright, 
So you can just do pip install gspread, and since I did this five seconds ago, I already have it. And you're also going to have to do oauth2 client. Let's check. Yep, oauth2 client. Uh, oh, no, not cd. Okay, that's all done. So now I'm going to open up um, a new. Oh, there okay. you go. I don't still need that. So I'm going to open up a new um, Python file and I'm going to do import g spread. And then let me check my notes. Anybody else use Trello? Mm, I think it's pretty decent. Okay, I actually don't have any notes. Let me check something real quick. I predominantly use this on Python anywhere. So I'm just checking what I have as my Python anywhere code. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, we got G spread. So now we're going to do scope equals, and this is the same for everything HTTPS spreadsheets.google.com slash feeds. And I'll post the code um, probably on my blog. So then we're going to do credentials equals service account credentials dot from json key file name all right so now oops not form now we're going to put in that um the credentials file that's in the same folder. it has to be in the same folder in the same directory as your python file so mine is called I'm gonna do comma scope and this will just be whatever you downloaded um, this is my fake one this is my real one that I'm not going to show you guys because a bunch of hackers all right so GC equals G spread Basically, that stands for Google Credentials. And now, our worksheet equals gc.open. And now you, you're going to put in the actual name. Let me see if I can... Okay, there we go. Make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. You're going to put in the name of that um, Google Sheet. So if I go back here... I named it Tuts, and I don't really know if you have duplicate, like if you have two sheets of the same name. Hopefully it doesn't let you do that. All right, so now we have that. Now we're gonna pull in, we're just gonna make a Google list of our worksheets, and we're gonna use the get all values function. All right, so now if I do print glist, and we'll see if this works. Probably have to. Okay, I need two more packages. I think I'm not sure I need the JSON one, but I'll just import just in case. So from oauth 2 client.service account import service account credentials. All right, so now let's see if this works. As I said, I'm pretty skeptical so I can't make this bigger but I gotta navigate to my directory mm -hmm. python g 
gtut.py. Okay, no such file. Personal. Hmm. Twelve ninety seven, not twelve ninety eight. All right, and it worked. Look at that. So we got birds, dates. That's row one. African swallow. And now we have the data. And from there, you can do whatever you want with it. So as I showed, um, it's pretty easy. And if you have any questions about pretty much, I think the most difficult part is actually just using the Google um, get in that OAuth credentials JSON file but I mean once you get that you're golden so like I said if you have any questions um, shoot them to me it's only a few lines look at that 11 uh, what nine lines of code in order to do that and I don't even think you need the JSON one so yep just let me know and uh, thanks for watching